refuse to live with your parents. <laughs> How much do you think a house will cost? No, it could be anything. Thousands. I haven't got that kind of money. It'll take me 20 years to get the deposit together. Blimey, what's he after? Buckingham Palace. <laughs> I mean, for a house costing £4,000, he need £400 for the deposit, another £100 for all the extras, legal costs, evaluation and that. I mean, even if they haven't got a little nest egg, which I'm sure they have got, they're both working with good jobs, so it shouldn't take them long to raise that much. But we do want quite a large place. I mean, I want sort of somewhere to put children and things when we have yeah, them. a few rooms and a bit of space. We don't want a mock Tudor semi. What's wrong with a mock Tudor semi? I was born in a mock Tudor semi and they're very nice. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a mock Tudor semi, it's just I want something different, that's all. What about a nice, lovely, large, modern maisonette? No, what we want is an old house, something that we can do something with. And the building societies won't, won't look at them. Why not? Well, they just won't touch old property. Why, because the ceiling's falling? Yeah, why, because they're... He's wrong again. Because one in every six mortgages are arranged for pre-1919 houses. And providing they're structurally sound, there's usually no problem. What's more, in certain cases, you can get grants from the local council to help with renovations. <laughs> what more does he want? Jam on it. And anyway, what we've saved will be all we've got in case of emergencies. We can't afford to have it all tied up if we need it. Oh, sorry about that, I missed it. What did he say? I want to be able to put my hands on my money when I need it. Now, in a bank... A bank? A bank will charge him for handling his money. But with a building society, there are no charges. And his money's earning interest every day, it's there. And they pay his taxes so that everything he gets back is his. <laughs> and if he does want to get his money in a hurry, he can get, say, up to uh, 100 pounds over the counter. <laughs> and the rest he can get very quickly. <laughs> Tell him, somebody. <laughs> Please! And anyway, which one do we choose? I mean, there are so many building societies, you don't know which way to turn. I mean, how do you know? They're getting wise now. They've been to a building society. The first move a future owner occupier must make is to save enough money to pay a deposit, usually amounting to about 10% of the price. A large number of people obtain the deposit by saving with the society before applying for a mortgage. Ah, now that's a good idea, because that way you're on the inside. And if money gets a bit tight and you want a loan, they're bound to smile on you, aren't they, if you'll be lending them money? Then find the place you like and that you can reasonably afford. Well, that's round about two and a half to three times what you earn in a year. Uh, and don't forget Mary's earnings, because they probably take them into account as well. 
Make an offer subject to survey and contract. Oh, yeah. Well, you don't want to be rushed into it, do you? I mean, not until you've had the place surveyed and had a look at the contract. And another thing about that. Oh, here, hang on. Here's my bus. I'll see you in a minute. <sighs> right, now, what was I saying? Oh, yes, surveying. Well, if you're buying a new house, you get a 10 years guarantee from the National House Builders Registration Council. Nearly all the builders in the country belong to this. Still, those two wanted an old house, didn't they? So a survey's report is a must for them. And they must get that report before they finalise their offer. If all is well, a solicitor should be instructed to handle the purchase. Well, he takes care of the legal side, you know. He prepares the mortgage deed and that. So I hope he remembers to allow for all that on top of the deposit. I wonder how old Brownie's getting on. Interest rates. Building society interest rates naturally have to be competitive. With so many other forms of savings available, the rates must be attractive. So societies will watch the receipt of funds carefully. Yeah, of course they do. I mean, if the money's being taken out or not coming in, they look the interest rate to attract the custom. But they're usually pretty stable, like I said, safe as houses. And your money's always there, payable pound for pound. There are all sorts of ways of investing in a building society. Ordinary shares, regular savings accounts, save as you earn, and insurance link schemes. Oh, sorry, I can't go into all that now, but this is my stuff. Pity, still, you never know where to pop up. Cheers, look after yourself. job, isn't it? Peter Wilkins, aged 24, and Catherine Patricia Young, aged 22. Peter is a machine tool setter, and Catherine works in a department store. They have been engaged for six months. He likes the black and white minstrel show. She hates it. They both like cycling, swimming, table tennis, and ballroom dancing. 
hopes to get married this year and have a flat of their own. State optimistic.